Linda is an employee that is a little bit too much of a social butterfly, free-spirited and disorganized, which causes negativity and other outcomes towards her group and herself. Caitlin is the dedicated employee who likes to help others. She stays on track and keeps the workflow going. Though she is not conscious of it, she is the floor leader, subtly motivating her teammates and going over and beyond to make sure work is completed. Nikolai is the only male in the group. He is the jokester and has a lighthearted spirit. He is committed to the organization and has been a part of the team for two years. He was slow initially to pick up the company's rubric, However, he has hit his stride after 90 days. Giselle is the no-filter co-worker. She has been known to say inappropriate comments directed towards other employees and those in charge. She is also a hard worker and has filled her position well. However, Giselle gets bored with the company's outdated procedures and at times and likes to stir things up a bit. Miranda is the closest co-worker to Caitlin. She likes to surround herself with those who are succeeding at work. She believes there is a lot she can learn from Caitlin and tries not to get caught up in all the gossip that floats around the office. I just don't get Bob. I know he's our floor supervisor and we're a little bit behind on our quotas, but his sales strategies are outdated. I have much more luck with personal emails and lunch meetings with clients. I know, right? These mass phone calls are not producing. I'm just tired of getting hung up on like I'm a telemarketer or something. We're not telemarketers? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bob's stuck in the 80s. I feel like I always have to remind people just because my name is Nikolai doesn't mean I work for a Romanian call center or something. <laughs> OMG, I swear, if I have to wear that freaking headset for one more minute, I might scream. It ruins my hair. I feel your pain. My perm cannot handle the abuse of the headset. I'm getting some coffee. You guys want some? I'm good. I'm taking lunch. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Who takes lunch at 10 a.m.? This is her morning lunch break. Come on. Hey, Kate. Great meeting, right? We just have to buckle down. I think if we pursue our new contacts and website leads more heavily, we can land more policies quicker. Our firm traditional callbacks are not producing like we need them to. Oh, by the way, Melinda took lunch. Are you serious? It's 10 a.m. Nick said he's having some success with the email and social media contacts. Maybe we could. I know, I know, we can't. Bob doesn't want us to work like that. What does it matter if we land the policies? Bob is focused on organizational structure and satisfying the hierarchy when he should be focusing on changing form formalization and the system we use so that we look more like a team that uses pool, pooled interdependence. Have you brought this up to Bob? Maybe he'll work with us after you break it down for him. General insurance is a perfect example of a tall organizational structure until he and our other supervisors make a move to a decentralized, flatter organization. My pleas will go unheard. Well, good luck with that girl. Good luck with what? Does Kate have a date? No, Nick. Go back to work. Yes, ma'am. Kate, I know Bob doesn't want us to chase policy leads any other way than phone calls, but I have an elderly couple that needs a significant policy, but they're limited in their mobility and can't hear that well. I need to meet with him if we want to close this deal. We're not supposed to do that, but considering the circumstances, I'm going to call Bob. Meanwhile, Miranda and Giselle, I need you to get on the phone and if you can pick up Melinda's calls too. We can't fall behind. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, I know you're not her boss, but you need to talk to her. You need to talk to Melinda about this. I'm tired of doing her work all the time. I know, guys. I will. I'll help with the calls, too. This is Bob. Hey, 
Hey, Bob, I have a special circumstance involving an elderly couple who cannot settle their insurance affairs over the phone and a house visit might be necessary. Caitlin, we have addressed matters like this before. I, I don't know of many people who cannot use a telephone and or a fax machine. <laughs> I understand, sir. I just want to be upfront with you. I'm going to reach out to Roger regarding this. Roger? You mean my boss, Roger? The, the, the district manager? <laughs> yes, sir. Do what you want, Caitlin. He's going to agree with me. Okay, sir. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. This is Roger. Good morning, sir. This is Caitlin. I'm a sales rep at the Clearwater office. Oh, yes. Uh, what can I help you with, Miss Caitlin? Well, sir, my team is having some difficulty meeting our quotas under the current sales procedures and the manner in which we can satisfy our leads contradict the, the direction Bob wants us to take. Well, Caitlin, we have been successfully selling insurance in this market for a long time. The procedures we follow have, been, have made general insurance a lot of money and have provided insurance to thousands of homeowners over 20 years. Bob is doing his job, and part of that job is to enforce the procedures that we feel are the best, most effective. Yes, sir. See, I understand all of that, and I respect our company's traditional sale model. However, we have experienced special instances that have required some of our sales reps to complete policies using other methods. All I'm saying is we are experiencing environmental complexity in the market as technology advances, new forms of contact are more beneficial and frankly, sir, are expected by our clients. Well, I, I hear your concerns. What are your suggestions? I believe, sir, if our company can take a supervised, decentralized approach to sales, that this would allow our reps to meet this evolving market head on. For instance, we have $3 million policy on the table right now. However, the homeowners are elderly and cannot use the traditional forms of contact. A face-to-face -face is required, but is not permitted by our company. It sounds like you have a pretty good handle on the insurance market. I will talk to Bob. Send a rep out, a rep out to meet these folks. I don't want them waiting. Good work, Caitlin. I'm glad you called me. I want you to get hold of my secretary and schedule a meeting. I want to talk to you about your future Hera, here at General Insurance. Yes, sir. That sounds great. I will set it up. Thank you so much, sir. Have a wonderful afternoon. You as well. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>